doing that work will have a better outcome for the patient in improving their strength and balance, reducing their fear, and hopefully reducing them falling in the future. Hello, I'm AD Phillips. I'm the Falls Prevention Team Lead for Southern Health Foundation Trust. At Southern Health, we run NHS balance classes. These are a 12 week programme which work on strength and balance for people who've had a fall, are afraid of falling, have been referred to us by the GP or we've picked up because actually they've had a fall and the ambulance crew have been out to see them and they've sent our community care teams a referral. Um, during COVID, as we weren't able to run face-to-face -face classes, we did a review of the classes. What I found is that some of the people hadn't done backward chaining. I spoke to the staff who run the classes to find out why that was and they came up with three things. One, the staff were concerned about the frailty of the people that were attending the class and worried about getting them on the floor because if they would got them on the floor then they wouldn't have been able to have got them up safely. Two, the length of time that we had to actually teach people how to get on the floor and to get them strong enough to be able to get down on the floor to then practice getting back up from the floor as well. And three, was our own training that we hadn't actually provided all of the team with the skills um, to teach people how to get them down on the floor. Those who had actually done backward chaining as part of their NHS balance class work were more confident, were more likely to carry on with their exercise programme at home. Those that hadn't had that experience of actually getting down on the floor and doing floor work and backward chaining still had that fear of falling and actually weren't as compliant with doing their exercises at home and certainly weren't um, confident to get up from the floor. So it meant that if they did fall, then they would need an ambulance to come and help them. We've invested in the razor chair because that gives us the ability to take the chairs to the classes so that the instructors who are running the class are able to do the class safe in the knowledge that actually if somebody is on the floor and worried about getting up they've got a piece of equipment that they can use to get the patient up safely. So we've actually used the razor chair to get these people down onto the floor and then go through the stages to think why is it you're getting stuck on getting up? Is it because you can't actually get onto your hands and knees? Is it because you don't have the weight in your hand? Is it because you've got no trunk control to turn over? But also to actually say to them, right, actually, you're on the floor. What are you going to do? For the NHS classes, having the razor chairs means that the people teaching the classes are going to include strength and balance and backward chaining work to get people down on the floor as part of the programme. Which, because they're doing that, means that actually the outcome measures for the person attending the class is going to be better. They're going to have more confident, they're not going to be as worried about getting down on the floor, they're more likely to continue with the exercises, which means there should be fewer falls for that person in the future. The participants know that if they did get on the floor and they were struggling to get up, that actually there's a piece of equipment that can get them up quite quickly and quite safely, which will encourage more people who are attending the classes to actually partake in the activity of getting down on the floor rather than just watching. And I know that actually doing that work will have a better outcome for the patient in improving their strength and balance, reducing their fear and hopefully reducing them falling in the future.